wireframing. This is another one, again, particularly when it comes down to website development or anything graphical, I think wireframing is a, a must-do. And there's a number of different ways you can wireframe. And for those of you who don't know what wireframing is, it literally is just sketching out in a effect just what the site should roughly look like. Give, give some actual guidance to these guys or girls out there who are doing stuff. And you can literally do it in Word. Like literally open up Word or Pages, whatever the equivalent you might have, and it can be very, very basic, but you can grab shape and you know you literally go, okay, this is the browser window. You know, you can go in here, you take the colour fill off, then you grab a text box, yeah, and you literally can just start drawing up roughly what you want the site to look like. Very, very simple, very, very easy way of giving someone a graphical uh, look of what you want to have. Gliffy.com or Mockflow.com are two awesome online tools as well. Gliffy.com, this, uh, this is Gliffy. It's, uh, let me just fix it there. So it's an online, um, basically it's a bit of a, a mock-up tool. So I'm going to go through this actual uh, flowchart in a later session today and actually show you a couple of flowcharts of how I run the system from outsourcing. But if you actually look on the left-hand side down here, there is a number of different sort of tools you can actually drag in to design stuff. So if I you know, drag a box in here, this can be the, the website wireframe. I might want to have a couple of content holders here on the right-hand side of the website. Um, I might want a video that sort of sits in the middle here. So very, very quickly and easily, you can mock up what a website might look like. I've got a text box at the top here. This is my headline, I'll change the font size, very, very quickly and easily you can mock up and you can even screen flow yourself doing the mock up so you talk your way through it. So this is literally as I just did then, that could almost be the job brief for a website design or a business card design or a direct mail piece if you're in that sort of offline space or if you're doing some PowerPoint presentations, mock up roughly how you want it to work. Give the guys a bit of a visual aspect as well as then writing it out. Uh, Mockup Viewer is actually designed purely for doing mockups. This is a, uh, one of them, one of their uh, free sort of examples of what you can do. You just pull stuff in and you can create mockups very, very cheaply and very, very quickly. You can share them, you can export them as PDFs, you can do whatever you want with it. So they're very good, cheap, cost-effective tools, both with trials. So if you only want to sort of start small and start cheap, get a uh, you know a 20-day trial. I think um, Gliffy offers a 30-day trial. On um, this particular account I've got here is still on trial mode for me. Uh, and you can do everything you need to do very, very cost-effectively. And I'm sure you've got some other ones. Yep. Um, Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com. Yep. It's, it's like Photoshop. P-I-X-L-R dot com. I love com. working in the cloud. Yeah, cloud, cloud, cloud computing stuff these days is amazing. Pixlr dot com is exactly that. So you can Even go in better, here. You can actually um, open up from a URL straight into you. Mock all over it. You create a new image. Bang. And then uh, you can start drawing around. I have no idea how to use Photoshop, so I find this even a bit hard for me. I like Word. I like simple Word stuff. Because you know, there's nothing wrong with this if you've got some design skills. If it's basic stuff, I just still use Word. It's like just text box like I'm in primary school, and it's, it's enough to start with. But I completely hear that that's a, a great way to go.